Universities in the United States are looking at an average of about 60% graduating in six years. I don't know any other company that would be allowed to have those kind of outcomes and still charge the kind of money that's being charged. I think there's sort of a trifecta of failure happening for students in higher ed right now based on time, cost, and location. It's kind of like, come to our place, come on our timeline, do the courses we tell you to do. Instead of saying, how can we put the student at the center of the learning experience? How can we get you to work more on your timeline, your lived reality? The global education movement is a division at Southern New Hampshire University. We bring bachelor's degrees and pathways to employment to refugees, migrants, and other learners that would otherwise not have access to higher education. Students are the drivers of time. When they start a project, when they complete a project, and then when we layer in the partnership and the internship component, you've got a degree program that puts the student needs and timeline at the center. At the heart of the success of the model is partnerships and how SNHU engages with a locally based partner in every location where we're operating. Hi, Donata. How are you? So if you were to visit each one of our locations, you would find a partner um, who's really the expert in what refugees and migrants might be experiencing on the ground and helping us guide along the program in a way that really is adaptable to the needs of our students. The benefit of empowering people at different locations is really evident at Scalabrini. If somebody has buy-in and is able to really push ideas forward, they're fully invested in the project, they're gonna make it real and come to life. I came in South Africa as a refugee. It was very hard. When I was approached by the Scalabrini Center to become one of the academic coach, I just thought like, wow, this is a chance for me. SNHU has invested a lot in me, so it's my turn to give back to the community. You want everybody in this community to be empowered and become somebody in life. Currently, over 90% of our students are on track to earn their bachelor's degree within four years. The model itself has potential for anybody who's not accessing or finding success in higher education. There are a lot of learners that we could serve if we stop focusing on particular groups and more about the power of transforming how higher ed works and thinking about everybody being able to access that model. The graduation days at Kaziba Camp, which happened on the basketball court, and there's thousands of kids totally captivated in that moment means that the whole community can see themselves differently. That's the transformation of students for themselves and also that something else is bigger and possible.